Yeah, I'm Habib Dagger. I'm director of the Composite Center at the University of Maine as a faculty at UMaine as well. We're sitting here in the living area, kitchen living area of the 3D printed BioHome 3D. This pops us into the future, never before seen here in Maine or in the country or across the world. Maine is number one, and I'm so proud of this university and this program and this state. So what we're trying to do is solve the housing crisis, help solve the housing crisis using this bio-based 3D printing alternative. So we're using wood waste, essentially called wood residuals from our forests, uh, to print the home with and bioresins. And that material is widely available and relatively inexpensive. Um, so, and by automating the, the printing process and training the next generation of, of engineers to do that, uh, so that, that we solve the labor issue and the material and, and the and the material cost issue uh, using this technology. We're at the beginning of a road right now, so so we're all we're trying to find what those limitations are as we go. And this house was the first of its kind ever done in the world, so there's a lot to learn from that. And it's sitting outside in Maine, and our goal is to to test it. So we're going to put it. We're putting it through as we speak. A good old Maine winter. And over the last two or three days, we've had a pretty nice snowstorm. You see, it's got a bit of snow sitting on top of it. We've got sensors on this house to tell us how it's performing. Uh, so far, so good. But we got to go through the the first winter and, and learn what we don't know about about this technology. Uh, and the next step is how do we make it faster and and drive the cost down? Is 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 part of what we're trying to learn. Uh, what we're hoping to do next year is to build what we call the factory of the future, uh, which is um, uh, we hope to start construction a year from now. It's it's a factory that's going to allow us to scale up the, the production of homes, so we can produce these homes uh, at, the, at the rate of one every 48 hours. And uh, we're not there yet, but that's what the factory of the future is going to get us doing. And uh, and it's um, it, it's going to be one of a kind facility in the world. So that's what the exciting piece is. And we're already planning some. Uh, to print a, in, a neighborhood in, in, uh, in Bangor, a 3D printed neighborhood uh, for homeless, for the homeless. And uh, so we've announced just uh, last week a, a partnership with Penquist and, um, uh, uh, and Key Bank. Uh, uh, Angus, Senator Angus King was up here with us to help announce that, to, to build the first 3D printed neighborhood for homeless. Uh, right in the Bangor area. So, and, but that's not going to happen until we finish the factory of the future. So that's the next step, factory of the future, then uh, going from one home to neighborhoods. I was born in French Guinea in Africa, and my folks were Lebanese originally, and I came to the U.S. as a teenager. Um, as uh, in growing up, I always loved science and engineering and tinkering and, uh, and uh, uh, taking chemistry kits and doing things with them that nobody's ever done and taking electronic parts and making transmitters with them and so on and so forth. So, Certainly uh, engineering is an opportunity to take science and apply it to the benefit of society. So, um, so, uh, so that's really what we're doing here. We're taking technology and engineering and, and figuring out how to build homes. So this is an example of what engineers are doing. We printed boats. We're also looking at printing boats and see if we can change the way we print homes. Uh, we're developing floating wind turbines. They could be placed uh, beyond the horizon off the coast of Maine. All of that is what engineers could do. So uh, I can't think of a more exciting time to, to, to be here and innovating. Absolutely. I think every day I, walk, I, I get up and I come over here and I see my colleagues that I work with and uh, it, it tells me how blessed we are to be in an opportunity where we can, we can make a difference to society. We've won over 45 national and international awards of innovation. Uh, we've been invited to the White House as champions for change in transportation. The American Society of Civil Engineers called one of our rich technologies the biggest innovation in the world in civil engineering. So this, this team has done some very exciting things over the years and that's brought notoriety to the university, to our engineering programs, and, uh, and, and then we're, we're, we continue to do that. But what's important really is making a difference to society and, and, and when we make a difference to society, that's when we all win. Is it true you have 120 patents? Yeah. Are you pretty proud of that? 
What I'm most proud of is the fact that this laboratory has, uh, has had over 2,700 interns from UMaine, from 35 academic departments, that have worked in this laboratory and, and now they're all over the world, uh, all over the Maine and the world, uh, being leaders in the technologies that they've developed. So, um, so uh, we have a, a motto here in this lab that says, students first. Um, and, and the other motto in our lab says, um, none of us is as smart as all of us. So, uh, and, um, and, and it's by working together that we can make a difference and, uh, and, uh, and, and uh, educate the next generation and, and uh, move the needle in terms of societal needs. Do we hear back from some of those students? They thank you for, yeah. We do, we do. A lot of them, a lot of them come back to work for us. So, um, so we've had some students who, who, uh, um, who left Maine and, and uh, couldn't wait to get back after a few years and they're working in our laboratory. So it's, it's good to see them not only go and get better what they do, but see them come back is, is even uh, more uh, 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 heartwarming for a lot of us. So, because we need the young people back in Maine. And this lab is attracting them to come back to Maine. I think I feel, I feel pretty good that we can, we're going to have, have an opportunity to potentially make a positive contribution. If we can make a difference, and that's what we're trying to do, that's, what, that's when we're going to feel like we're all rock stars.